What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And today I wanted to take a moment, just a moment of your time to discuss relationships. Like I don't know about you, but relationships can jack you up. All right, like I have been in some of the most toxic, brutal relationships. And a lot of it was because I had no business, absolutely no business dating anybody in the first place. So recently, um, as some of you know, I've been doing a lot of writing over on Medium. That's why I haven't really been uploading videos as much. I love, love, love writing. But anyways, I had an article go semi-viral over on Medium, uh, and it was five signs that you're not ready to date. And after sitting here, I haven't been watching all the commentary videos and stuff like that, but I've seen it all over Twitter. Uh, all of the stuff playing out with J Station, uh, YouTube's resident guy who, I don't know, speaks to dead people, uh, and his ex-girlfriend. After watching that play out, I was like, huh, there's some points that I made in that article that I kind of want to discuss here on YouTube. All right, so if you are not up, caught up to speed, let me just give you the brief, very quick rundown. So J Station, you know, he, he has a channel where he does like 3 a.m. challenges and a bunch of goofy, just trendy things that kids like, right? So anyways, he recently got the bright idea that he was going to fake his girlfriend's death. And then the idea behind it was they were gonna resurrect her and everything like that. Well, anyways, um, before he had a chance to do so, he woke up and girl bounced, all right? Her name's Alexia. And J Station made a video where he was in his closet, I think, crying and discussing the relationship and everything. And he talked about how she accused him of assault and assault with a weapon and everything and said there's a warrant out for his arrest. But as far as I've seen, there's no, been no verification that there's a warrant out for his arrest. Anyways, uh, Alexia finally made a video discussing the relationship and why she left and all these other things, right? So you can go check out their videos if you wanna get the, the full the full story. Personally, I have to watch those things at two times speed because I just, I can't, I can't handle it. I can never go back to a regular life ever. I can't get a job. I don't have a high school diploma. I dropped out of high school in grade nine. I got a criminal record from when I was younger. I ran away from home when I was a kid. I got in all kinds of trouble, man. My parents, my parents used to like fuck me up when I was a kid and I ran away from home. <laughs> But yeah, after seeing how that whole relationship played out, like maybe J Station should stick to fake hooking up with his friend. Full oh, body? Like that? Yeah, 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 like that, like that. Oh, that, that's a that's a perfect shot. That's 200,000 likes right okay, there. Okay, okay, now we oh, gotta my... take a picture together. What okay? do you mean a picture together? Come on, just take a little selfie with me. All right, I got All right, all right. So, say cheese. 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 Oh! Hey! Whoa! So first, let's talk about just not being ready to date. All right? And here's here's something that I really want you uh, you ladies out there, maybe even dudes if you're watching this, to kind of look out for. I can never go back to a regular life ever. I can't get a job. I don't have a high school diploma. I dropped out of high school in grade nine. I got a criminal record from when I was younger. I ran away from home when I was a kid. I got in all kinds of trouble, man. My parents, my parents, used to like me up when I was a kid and I ran away from home <laughs> and bro I would get bullied in school and shit. so I ran away from home I dropped out of school I'm, a, I'm in the middle of the ghetto and shit. All right, so although I never made a career out of like 3 a.m. challenges and talking to dead people and using Ouija boards, like I can actually relate to J Station in this sense. Like I stayed single for a year and a half, single, single and celibate for a year and a half after I got sober. Best decision I could have ever made. So like something that I, I did was not only did I, constantly get into toxic relationships, but I always blame the other person. I always said, oh, it was her fault and I played this victim and I'm like, why can't I find a nice girl? All these other things, right? But finally, when I was able to sit back, when I got sober and kind of analyze these relationships, I'm like, oh my God, like 
I was, I was the biggest issue in these relationships, right? But the question is why? Why did I act the way I did in these relationships? And like Jay Station's been very open about, and I, I don't know if it's to get pity or whatever it is, or if he's just being vulnerable and sharing his experience, but like he discusses his messed up childhood. Like in the video he recorded in his closet, he discusses his screwed up childhood. And I can definitely relate to that. Some of you might be able to as well, but here's the thing. Like we carry so much of that into our relationships, whether it's our friendships, whether it's romantic relationships, whatever it is. So one of the reasons I stayed single for a year and a half was because I was messed up. And until I had the courage to face those things and figure out why I behave the way I do in relationships, I realized that I had no business dating. The, the, the thing I realized was, it was extremely selfish and self-centered of me to pull somebody into a relationship with me when I was messed up, right? Because we all have this human need to be with somebody, right? Like just based on our biology and the, the need to reproduce and all of that, like we were constantly looking for a partner, right? And something that we get into the mindset of, at least in my experience, is we wanna get in a relationship because we're dealing with so much pain and we believe that this person can fix us, all right? And listen, like, we don't we don't date because we figure the other person's like an auto mechanic and they're just gonna <laughs> fix us up. Like, I realized how selfish that was of me. Like, it's nobody's responsibility to fix me. It's my responsibility to go out there and get help and understand why I keep hurting the people that I'm in relationships with. And because, because I've worked on myself for so long, like finally, like I am in the healthiest relationship I've ever been in. Like my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan and I, we've been together for over three years now and it's an actual healthy relationship. And one of those reasons is because I'm working on those things constantly, even though I'm miles ahead of where I used to be, I've worked on all those things that were just buried down in my subconscious that made me sabotage my own relationships, all right? So the other aspect of this whole thing playing out that I wanted to talk about was Alexia discussed how she caught Jay going through her phone and checking like old DM. And everything was going really good for a long time until one night I was sleeping, Jay decided to take my phone and look through every single message I had on my text, every single message on my Instagram, on my Twitter. Even though these messages weren't even bad and were from years before I even met Jay, Jay still thought that because of these messages, I was gonna cheat on him. I would never do that, guys. I would never cheat on someone in a million years. Jay told me that he does not want me to have Instagram. He does not want me to have Facebook. He does not want me to have Snapchat. He wanted to completely erase all of my social media. And you guys have to understand that this is not a normal thing for someone to ask of someone in a relationship. All right, so check this out. This is the biggest red flag, all right? This is a huge, huge, huge red flag. Somebody going through your phone. So check this out. Like, uh, like Alexia said, like Jay's justification for this was his previous girlfriend uh, cheated on him, right? And here's the thing, here's one of the biggest mistakes that I personally made was carrying from uh, what happened in my last relationship into my new relationship. Like that is so unfair. That is so unfair to do to your new partner, right? Like, I understand that we get trust issues from what happened in our last relationship, but I realized like I was just carrying the baggage, right? Like one relationship ended terribly and I just packed it all up in a suitcase, got into my relationship, brought that over with me. And then once I destroyed that relationship, I took all that stuff, put it back in the suitcase and then brought it to my next relationship. So next thing you know, five women later, they're having to deal with all the BS that happened to me in the past. And here's the way I had to think about it in order to get out of that cycle, all right? I had to start asking myself, how would I like if the woman I was dating kept 
coming after me for things that her exes did to her. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be like, oh, 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 that's not fair. I'm different. I would never do that. I would never. So if it's unfair for them to do it to me, why on earth would I do it to them? Like every relationship is a clean slate, right? Like if not, we are going to eventually sabotage that relationship. And again, that is one of the reasons why I work so hard to, to work on myself. You know what I mean? Like, Tristan, you know, she goes out and hangs out with her friends and she's she's uh, going to college. There's a bunch of like young bucks over on the college campus. And I've been cheated on the past, but if I get all up in her business about that, like I will destroy my own relationship. You know what I mean? And the last thing I wanna say on that is because sometimes we are absolutely justified, absolutely justified in being suspicious. But here's the thing that I learned. Like, if you have a good reason to go through your partner's cell phone, like, maybe that's a huge sign that you shouldn't even be in that relationship at all. You know what I mean? Like, I've been in relationships where there was shady stuff going on, I suspected they were cheating, then they were cheating, you know what I mean? Like, I should have cut and run from those relationships way before that stuff happened. You know what I mean? But anyways, today, because I've figured out how to build my own self-confidence and things like that, I don't have those insecurities that make me want to do those things and make me want to go check their phones, you know? So that is one of the reasons why I work a lot on self-love and self-confidence and self-worth. You know what I mean? Because when I'm able to work on those things, my insecurities don't screw up my relationship. You see what I'm saying? So uh, I think there's a lot, a lot that we can learn from this about relationships. But anyways, I don't think anybody, I don't think anybody out there is a lost cause and they should stay single forever. But Again, like we need to just be self-aware. We need to understand what our part is in screwing up these relationships and quit playing the victim and realize like, yo, maybe we're not ready to be in a relationship yet. And once we work on ourselves, then we can start dipping our toes back in the water. You know what I mean? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you wanna check out my Medium page, I've been writing a ton over there, so go check it out. It'll be linked down in the description, as well as that article I told you about five signs that you're not ready to date. You wanna check that out, all right? Anyways, thanks again for watching, and a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody out there supporting the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody who supports the channel by buying my mental health books over at TheRewiredSoul.com and the merch and everything like that. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. See you next time.